find integral sec h square x dx. Here we have to find the value of integral sec h square x dx. So in order to find the value of this integral, we are rewriting sec h square in terms of hyperbolic form that is sec h x is 2 by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x. Now sec h square is 2 by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x whole square dx. Now on squaring numerator and denominator we will get 2 square 4 e raised to x plus e raised to minus x whole square. We will get e raised to 2x plus e raised to minus 2x plus 2 into e raised to x plus e raised to minus x. That is a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square in that form. Now in the next step we are rewriting e raised to minus 2x as e 1 by e raised to 2x. Now 2 into e raised to x into e raised to minus x will give 1. That is 2 into 1 will give 2. Now on taking LCM we will get e raised to 2x whole square plus 1 plus 2 e raised to 2x whole divided by e raised to 2x. That whole divided by e raised to 2x is taken to numerator. So we will get here 4 into e raised to 2x. This function is not in an integrable form. So here in order to make the function into an integrable form, we are substituting e raised to 2x as u. Put e raised to 2x equal to u. On differentiating with respect to x, we will get 2 into e raised to 2x dx equal to du. So on substituting these values, we will get e raised to 2x whole square as u square. 2 into e raised to 2x as 2u and what about this if we take 2 outside part we what will remain here 2 into e raised to 2x dx that is du so we get the function in terms of u here what is this a plus b whole square that is u plus 1 whole square this function is in an integrable form what is the value of this integral that is 2 into u plus 1 whole raised to minus 1 divided by that is u plus 1 whole raised to minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1. So we get minus 1 here. So we can rewrite this term as minus 2 by 1 plus u plus c. So we get the result in terms of u that is the value of integral in terms of u. In the next step we need the function in terms of hyperbolic form. Either you can put here the value of u as e raised to 2x. So we will get 2 by 1 plus e raised to 2x and you can stop it here. But the function will not be in the hyperbolic form. So in order to get the function in the hyperbolic form, what we are going to do next is we are adding a u and subtracting a u in the denominator so if you want to stop the result here you can substitute u as e raised to 2x and stop here so but if you want the function in the hyperbolic form you are you have to add a u here and subtract u here then what we will get that is minus 1 Minus 2 can be rewritten as minus 1 plus minus 1. Then u and 1 minus 1 will give u minus 1. Here minus 1 is minus u is here and 1 of minus 1 is here. That is you can see that minus 2 plus u minus u can be rewritten as minus 1 plus u minus minus 1 minus u. Okay. On taking, on rewriting the terms, we will get u minus 1 here and taking minus outside, we will get u plus 1 here. So, we can rewrite this numerator like this. Now, u, we get u minus 1 by u plus 1 minus of u plus 1 by u plus 1. What is this? On cancelling u plus 1, we will get 1 here. 
sorry minus 1 here so minus 1 is a constant c is a constant so this 2 becomes a whole constant in the next step we can substitute u in terms of e raised to 2x so this will this 2 will get become a constant now substitute e as e raised to 2x here e raised to 2x minus 1 divided by e raised to 2x plus 1 we will get on taking e raised to x outside of this term that is e raised to 2x on taking e raised to x outside we will get e raised to x itself that is e raised to x into e raised to x will gives e raised to 2x then what is 1 here e raised to x into e raised to minus x on taking e raised to x outside we will get an e raised to minus x here similarly e raised to x plus e raised to minus x here that is on taking e raised to x outside e raised to x will remain here on taking e raised to x from 1 we will get another e raised to minus x here so on cancelling e raised to x what is this term e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x is hyperbolic tan of x that is tan hx plus c this is our required result okay that is integral sec h square dx equal to tan hx plus c so by using this trick here we will get the final answer as tan hx plus c